The following presentation is part of the Beyond the Blast Doors network. You tuned in to the Hollow Chronicles. Continue with the operation, you ain't hiring ready. What up, Josh? <laughs> How's it going, Andy? It's going pretty good. My son's making fun of me. He's, My dance moves. They're good. He doesn't know. They're good. Every time we come in with a little hit, I think we figured it out last, there it is, last uh, <laughs> uh, pod, we we came in and now we have, I, I, we have the intro. And so for the rest of you, from now on, Andy and I will be doing different pop and lock moves. Um, <laughs> Maybe it should be part of our intro. We just have a choreographed like, something or other. Like uh, synchronized swimmers. River dance. Oh, right. yeah, river dance. That's a good one, good. too. I'm pretty good. We come in pretty hot. Uh, I'm not Welcome. Sure, I'm, I'm not sure all of our <laughs> not sure all of our followers know what river dance no, is. They do. That, well, they will they when will. we're done with they it. Will that's welcome really to the Hollow Chronicles. Uh, you can find us at Hollow Chronicles on Twitter, and most importantly, at uh, the website www.beyondtheblastdoors.com. Our parent network. Network. Uh, we're joined by a host of amazing podcasts. You should go and check us out. Like, subscribe. You've heard it all before. By now, come on. But uh, we're the Hall of Chronicles, and we're here to talk about Star Wars, toys, and toys. Yeah, and not necessarily in that order, or those things, <laughs> and other stuff. <laughs> and we're at the. Uh, we're currently. We haven't. This is a soft launch. Oh, we're going to call this a soft launch. Soft launch. They call that in the biz. For of, what? For what, Josh? Uh, the new renovated Holocronical Studios. You may have seen a piece last week if you watched YouTube and, and you're seeing a piece now, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we've upgraded a few of our features. And as you can see behind Andy, we have two TK1151 who yes, will now do. represent through his number designation our Twitter followers. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we're at right now. TK1151. You'll be able to tell if we've uh, increased yeah. or decreased from week to week. If he's TK1149 next week, we may have to drop that. Bit. We're going to have to ask you to like and subscribe. <laughs> and share. And share. <laughs> uh, What's he wearing, by the way? What's he wearing? Oh. I'm, I'm going off script here. Okay. Well, he's, go ahead. He's got a red jacket on. I'm, go ahead. I'm going to go, I'm go gonna grab put it. it on. He's got a red jacket. Now, this is a very special. Red, oh, Andy's stripping. Uh, the new studio can handle this. <laughs> it's got a camera. But can they handle it? They can't. So uh, he's 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 now disrobing TK1151, um, at least of his jacket, his red jacket. And here he comes. Uh, it looks very nice on you. But what does it say right over your left chesticle? My left chesticle, not my other left chesticle. Your other left. It says Star Wars Celebration. It does. Embroidered. Embroidered. Yeah. Very nice. On the arm. That's. It. I can see it okay. It, it says, says Star Wars, uh, Star Wars Episode that. 1, if I can Ooh, catch the light. You did just, just right. right. Yeah, yeah. Move it. Yeah, right oh, there. Right there. Star Perfect. Wars Episode 1. Perfect. Hold on. I'm going to go right to you only. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Make, Let's go to you. Make this large and in charge. There we go. Oh, dang it. And let me get rid of that. <laughs> no, it's okay. Keep it. Keep it. All right. Move so it up. There you little, go. Uh, little, uh, yeah, hard, yeah. Hard rubber patch there. And again, nice rectangle. Star Wars celebration. Star Very Wars nice celebration. But it's the back, Josh. It is the back. It's and also, oh, wait, you get a little cuff. You yeah, get a little yeah, yeah. cuff action. Just on one side. Yep. It says uh, most. <laughs> oh, sorry. He needs his glasses. I do badly. <laughs> um, that's not even. It says pod racing or something. It right? says Moss Eisen? Espa oh, Espa. Moss Espa Arena pod racing. Mm. Let me flash that. Very nice. Very uh, 
NASCAR esh esque. NASCAR esh esh Koresh. But here's the here's the cool part, Josh. Here it comes. <sighs> Stand up a little. There you go. See it? Okay. Now this is pod racing. Is that what it says? No, it just says pod racing. But it's beautiful. You got the uh, Anakin's pod racer, Saboba's in the in the back upper right. I would say I'm just gonna leave it on. Yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. Riddle me this: Where did we? Where did we? Where did we find that? Or why did we find that? We found it listening to one of the Around the Galaxy episodes with Pete Fletzer, part of he, the Beyond the Blasters Network. Part of the Beyond the Blasters Network, and he was doing an interview with a couple of fellas. Uh, but I believe it was Scott Chernoff yes. that brought up the jacket. Yeah. And it's it's relevant, it's important, it's cool, because this jacket was handed out Star Wars Celebration 1. Oh, no. Number 1. And I believe that was in Denver, Colorado. Yeah. And by the way, if you haven't, because this is how we found this jacket, yeah. was by listening to around the galaxy's episode and the whole story about how the first celebration went down is, is fantastic. And I think we're only tip of the iceberg as far as like how many stories there are involved with it. It was amazing. So, uh, if you, if you really, if you really want to know about this, if you're into star Wars celebrations or going to cons and stuff, that episode of Pete's is really cool. Really good. And not even just if you're interested in going, it's just like, like it, if you're a Star Wars fan, the celebration, which by the way, I've never been to, was something that was never on my radar as, you know, a young 20 year old when it first happened. I didn't, you yeah. know, I'd, I thought I was, you know, trying to get married and stuff like that. So you gotta leave That's Star weird. Wars. Yeah. You gotta put it back in the background for a while. But, uh, to hear the stories about, you know, which was really like there was calamity going on the entire time in Denver, flooding, torrential rains, and also just kind of like first time it ever happened. Yeah. And so, uh, and those guys, like you said, Scott, now who's the other guy? Fantastic dude, by the way. Yeah. And I, I'm bummed because we, this was off the cuff here. Yeah. The uh, pod racer cuff. Shh. But. Anyway, there it is. <laughs> you get it. The there, it is. there it is. But a beautiful jacket that TK1151 uh, sports for now. He used to have the Empire uh, snow sp- snow jacket. Yeah, for the for the crew, the crew mm-hmm. jacket for mm-hmm. the Empire, which it, we should have given. This is the 40th anniversary month, but whatever. Or last month was whatever. We're yeah, fine. we're in June now. Jeez, June 7th. Thanks, pandemic. 42, June 7. Yeah. Episode 42. Write that down. Yeah, got it. Thank you. <clears throat> so All right. anyway, Josh, you're welcome. Yeah. We've got, as we usually do, we've got an awesome collection that we featured this weekend using the hashtag show me your collection. And this collection is yet another fantastic collection that comes to us from the United Kingdom. What's up with these UK guys? These UK guys got it going on. No joke. Yeah, they're... Uh, We've had a few... Well, I feel like they've got kind of home home field advantage when it comes <laughs> to like episode four, you know? I mean, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. They, they, I mean, there, there was a fair amount of filming done in the UK. Yeah. But in all fairness, California too. Well, but still, I feel like... And then there's know, those Tunisian holdouts. All the stormtrooper... Yeah. <laughs> Tunisian holdout. There's a, there's a trove down there. Yes, there weren't is. all a- the stormtrooper... Uh, not all, but I mean, weren't weren't the the main stormtrooper original casts, uh, the, the molds made in the UK? I don't know if all of I, them were, but I know... So we need to ask this because I'm not a 501st member, all right? <laughs> I have dabbled in. TK1151 is actually a legit... Costume. Cost, like like build from a good mold. It's not like uh, from a non-reputable site. I ordered this from... And, and was terrible at building it. And then realized that I'm more of a snow trooper. You know, baggy pants. <sighs> Josh has got some thighs, all right? And, and your thighs a little big for a stormtrooper. <laughs> That's exactly. I love saying that. I know. I said you it a million son of a times. gun. <laughs> we put uh, fellow BMBer 
or blue milk brigade or <laughs> at this point uh <laughs> into my costume and, and he fit perfectly his thighs yeah. are of normal size yeah trevor mine were made for a a lineman and not the kind that uh, went to the nfl um but <laughs> <laughs> so anyway yeah sorry. mark's collection this is mark you can find him on twitter at well, he's known as the Universal Collector on YouTube, right? Where he does toy reviews and uh, not not just for Star Wars, but he, he dabbles in other toys as well. He's a collector of many kinds of toys. Um, on on Twitter, you can find him at Univer Collector, and the O's are actually zeros. <laughs> Guys, okay. a pimp. Yeah. yeah, I mean, anyone who replaces O's with zeros, is, right? Right, knows what they're doing. It's like uh, kids with an X in their name. Damn right. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Mark's got it. He's got rooms of Star Wars stuff, which is awesome. I'd love to, you know, walk through his place sometime just to check it out. Cause I don't feel like, even though he sent us a bunch of pictures, there's probably more. Yeah. I kind of always get, more. Yeah. That's how we've kind of dabbled in our collection with our fan. They, they've never seen our collections. No, we've time. never actually put and we're up kind of like, you know, that's a little behind the, yeah. behind the blast doors type of oh. situation. There. Behind the scenes, behind yeah. the blast doors. Yeah. We're giving you a piece. You got TK one, one, five, one. Actually, uh, he's mine. And like I said, and then you got some art behind Andy. Yeah. That's Andy's. That's actually mine. <laughs> yeah. Where is his art? And there's a little bit of both behind you too, Josh. That's a little bit of some of, of you, some of me, some of Andy, some of me. Yeah. So, but you'll never see the whole collection all at once. Probably not. Unless until, we, unless you really ask for it. Unless we do like a live stream walkthrough or something. Or maybe next week when it's TK1152, we're like, yeah, another follower. <laughs> we're Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Josh, we missed an opportunity uh, for not acknowledging when it occurred, but I know. You know, one one three eight is a pretty big number in the Star Wars community. Yeah, we and, and just right by that, right follower. by that follower, and who may or may not be a bot, but uh, we don't care. Yeah, upon further review, could we be. like droids. We're we're down with droids down and with droids. and droid rights. Damn right, your kind is welcome. Is welcome here. There you go, and that speaks to a larger point too. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Um, so Mark's, Mark's collection. Can you pull that up there, Josh? It's ready. I just was about waiting it. for you. I'm going to talk about it just for a second here. When I asked Mark what his favorite piece or pieces of his Star Wars collection were, he gave me two. And uh, you can see both in the shot right here. The X-Wing, Classic. Classic Star Wars. It's hard not to, for that to be your favorite, especially since that was, you know, one of the first vehicles yeah. released. And, yeah. and that had to have been huge for any. I was too young at the time. I definitely got my X-Wing later. But can you imagine being a five, six, seven, eight-year-old watching Star Wars? And then getting an X-Wing. And then getting an X-Wing. That which, was probably the number one toy, yeah. the number one vehicle until the Millennium Falcon probably rolled It's around. got. It's got... R2, this is what I remember as a kid. I remember the, the foils opening because of that switch was so fantastic because I could do both like, all right, we're making our run, but when do you open the S-foils? When you're about to get... When you're about to get into the dirt. I was so, say about to get it on, but that, that could probably be taken yeah, a couple ways. Let's yeah, keep let's it see. clean. I was seven. Um, so when you're coming in, but you're here, and then you see... You see the bad guy, right? Converging. Boom. Flip the little switch behind R2's head. Or was it R2's head? No, you pushed him down. Pushed, R2's pushed R2 head. down. What's the oh, the switch was the landing gear. What's the little switch? No, the, no, switch, the switch was just a, a lock. Just, right? to, just to bring him back. There you go. Yeah. So, and see, it had, I can't even remember. And it, and it made a little noise, had a little red light in the front, right? And uh, you said something, too, that, that Mark alluded to. This was, he chose this because it reminded him of when he was a kid. Yeah. Right. And that's kind of the whole point of why people collect. Yeah. You know, it kind of reminds them of when they were a kid, when they were, you know, youthful innocence. And and then a lot of you, if you were, if you had the X-Wing, probably, I lost the canopy pretty quick. Right. Those, those are a spendy replace. They are, especially unyellowed. So I lost the canopy pretty quick because it's just the open close. G.I. Right. Joe guys were in there. A lot. Star Wars guys were in there. Yep. I mean, Thundercats, they wouldn't fit, but no. but didn't matter. They got they probably 
Well, old Lionel would love to have gotten Probably in King there. Kong to X wing down once or twice, <laughs> but uh, no, that's a fantastic. You know, of course the 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 uh, the guns, the cannons were gone. Yeah. A lot of the times they are. I think that speaks a lot to why we collect because all I want is like a complete, like the Christmas day version of what I remember, which was never the same after that because no. I lost everything. Beat to heck too. Decals. You had to make your dad put the decals on. Yeah. And then when they came off, you just used the ink pen and kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Totally solely did. It's a beautiful piece, Mark. So his second, his second choice, he gave two now. Now this I freaked out over. I was, I asked this, is this, a, is this it? Or not. Yes, this is it. Okay. This is um, this was his second choice, and this was significant to him for um, a lot, uh, you know, more personal. This maybe not as many people can relate to, but very meaningful to Mark is that this is the first thing he bought after overcoming a pretty serious illness. Really? Yeah. So, so you overcome something, you want to celebrate, you know, you want to get that feeling of normal back, you know, after, after being sick for a while. And, uh, from, uh, from what I understand, it was not a quick kind of illness. It right. was pretty serious and lengthy. So, um, this is what he did. He and went we, out. What do we call this? This is for those of the, um, for those listening here, it's in the, it's in the article. It's, it's something like the Imperial combat assault tank, something like that, but it's from rogue one It's from rogue one. Definitely. Yeah. Combat assault tank, Imperial combat assault tank. Yep. And, and, uh, it's from the vintage collection. So it fits your three and three quarter size figures. Um, and those, yeah, those two are of that size and it's super cool. Like the, the new, I, I love that he has an old one and a new one. Right, a, a a modern and a vintage. This one makes me jealous. It's pretty cool. It's very cool, and I never, I've never seen it. I mean, I didn't. Rogue One toys. We talked about that a little, even on our last pod. I think Rogue One toys were sporadic. Right, they were kind of. You got Jin and K two and and, but I don't remember the vehicles except for, I remember a lot of uh, Solo, like Solo Falcon and. But I wasn't I wasn't on the toy radar for solo or for uh, Rogue One for some reason. Yeah, and this one is really awesome. Yeah, I remember Krennic's ship. Um, See, I don't, and even that is like, yeah, I want one of those. Yeah. Well, I, I it's probably, and you and I are similar in this. Is the the vintage collection isn't like super high on our radar, right? But it, I, I feel like it. It needs to be. Well, I feel like, as especially we, after last week's, you know, we took a look at the that slave, yeah. slave one, that vintage collection slave one looks freaking awesome. Which, stay tuned. We're going to do an unboxing of that. It won't be a pod. It'll just be a YouTube thing, but just I think little, I'm going to, I'm going to get that because why not? Quick hitter. Why not? Why not? Just hit that out. Let's open it up. Do it. But this is beautiful. And Rogue One, you and I just talked about because I just rewatched it. It's so good. It's beyond so good. It's. Uh, like I re like, cause I loved it and I'm just going to say this and stop. It could be our main topic. Cause I could talk for like an hour on this, but I maybe next week rewatched it and was like, how is this not the best adult version of star Wars? And for that, I would say, you know, the, the, by that, I mean, it just hits home as an older person. It, it there's a few things that are going to fly over the kids heads, but as, oh man, it's just, be it's beautifully shot. It's beautifully done. It's just a good, it's a good Star Wars movie, especially, like I said, for adults. So good plug. Yeah, it's a good plug. We might have to talk more about this later. We will. All right. Click down to another picture there because uh, just pick one. There it is. So he's got, oh. Uh, <laughs> the universal case for collectors. <laughs> yeah. The, the Ikea. The Sweden Ikea has made this. Yeah, we should we should get a sponsorship <laughs> from IKEA. Right. Um but yeah, he's got he's got four lay four levels of heaven right there uh, of loose figures. Right. And that's I mean, shoot. What, that's what? that's a I, I gotta be honest, you and I have a similar I have two setup. I have that, two of right? those. Yeah. And but they have the white top. I got a couple in the garage right now that are ready to come back into the, the new setup. So yeah. All right, what's next? What is next? His wall of autographs. Yeah. Love it. This is. I'm envious of this because, yeah. you know, as we know, I don't have many 
autographs, but he does. And he's got some great ones too. And some of them are personalized to Mark himself. Others, I don't know. He's got, I, I can't see him all. Christopher Lee. Ian. Yeah. Hayden Christensen, Sir Alec Guinness, Sir Guinness. Oh man. There's Jeremy a- Bullock, David Prose, Ian McDermott. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a Hamill? Ooh. Yep. Damn. Yeah, now I'm jealous. Even an Akbar. An Akbar would rank really high in my signature. Yeah. Signed yeah. category. That's- I like that we have like all of these amazing Star Wars signatures, a few vintage collection, and then we get just like some Spider Man and Hulk in there. Yeah. Well, we're filling up wall space here. Yes. He is not exclusive to Star Wars. I think in the last picture, you might have seen. Um, a Masters of the Universe Castle Grayskull, which is a pretty classic toy. Sure. He's got the power. <laughs> Next. All right. That's a good one, though. Did you notice, one. though, the bust of uh, Luke? Yeah, next to the... Like my Porkins bust. <laughs> we have different taste in X-Wing pilots, apparently. Yes. Uh, he's got some Black Series here with some vintage. Yeah. Um, That's not a vintage shuttle, is it? Or the shadows make it feel like it's not? It looks like I, it has battle scarring on it, but I can't tell. I, it, I think that's vintage. That's a beautiful tell. piece if it is. Yeah. There again, Revan and Darth. Revan. <laughs> two Revan two Darth, black Revan. series figures I don't own. I know, and you've got a lot of them. That's a good one. Yeah. We have the uh, slave one on the wall there. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. B wings, nice. All right, next. And it's nice that it's Woo. mounted. This this is what in the hell? This is awesome. This is awesome. Carded figures. Carded vintage figures. Yeah. And shout out to Mark because we won a carded figure from him uh last week. It arrived in the mail. It's it's for both of us technically, Josh, but you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> it was an Ewok. I'm counting. He's got like 60. Yeah. Carded. And I mean, okay. So if, as a collector, yeah. if you just did the math on the acrylic cases mm. for these, you're looking at $1,200. Like 30 a piece, right? Is that what you're figuring? Well, yeah, then I'm up. I'm sorry. I'm up at $1,800. I was going 20 just for volume, but you're at 1800 almost $2,000 just for the acrylic cases to hold these vintage figures. Stuff matters, man. Matters to Mark. Oh, we got some tri logos down at the bottom there. Yep. I mean, yep. come on. Yep, we've got, you know, Return of the Jedi. We've got some Star Wars. You're probably looking at eight, six, six to eight. I, I, I can't do the math because I got to look at every figure individually. But that's yeah. a, a little, let's just call it a ten thousand dollar display there. Picture. Yeah. The picture's worth ten thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's beautiful unless he got them like a long time ago when they were dirt cheap uh, yeah well no it's still worth that much oh yeah i don't know how much yeah. he paid for it sure sure different questions there you go um another cut. great picture another great wall love the little he's shelves. got gentle giant uh busts in that yep. ikea display um and, and if you're listening of course go look on youtube or follow us on twitter but i and 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 i know for audio this kind of sucks but uh, i'm sorry Go to YouTube and just look at this. It's really good. It's really good. I like the the the, the vintage Wampa just kind of being angry on yeah. the second, sh- third shelf down there. Angry Wampa. Angry Wampas. Man, that's good. It's real good. Uh, oh, and then we got we got some we got some intermingling here. There's yeah. your uh, transport. It's got you, some yeah. You got some uh, Attack of the Clones ship there. With we the, got uh, the, aliens and. Yeah. RoboCop. Is he a RoboCop in there? Yeah. I mean, that's a good mix. Oh, look at the bus. So look at the IG bus, the Bosque. Yeah. The Gentle Giant busts are very cool. Oh, man. Those are good. A lot of busts. A lot of people coming up out of the ground. Busty. Mark's got a nice collection here. Whoops. Went too fast there. We got a little G.I. Joe nod. Well, Action Force is what they call it over in the UK. Oh. Mm. But yes. That tank, even though it has different decals, is the same Mobat tank. And then we have just some castaway, like, like vintage collection, but also in acrylic cases at the bottom. I like, yeah. like oh, I can't, put that. Just, I can't put that on my ten thousand dollar wall. Yeah, just right throw, out it space. Down <laughs> throw it down here. Throw it down here. Actually, I see that yellow Star Wars. That's a solo. That's a solo 
He probably got that when they were 29 instead of 99. Yeah. You see it down there? I can't. That's the blue a, bar's blocking it for me. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's blocking it for everyone then. Yeah. I can see it clear as a clear as day <laughs> solo. Oh, no, you can see it. It's right there. Well, I just got a, just a teen. I don't even know. Yeah. So, all right. Well, great collection, Mark. Thank you very much for sharing with us. Uh, you can share your collections with us using the hashtag show me your collection. DM us what? As many pictures. 800 pictures. As many fine. pictures as you want. Uh, again, we've still got a couple out for the next couple of weeks that are just top notch. Uh, it's, it's hard. If you're comparing your collection to other people's collection, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. All right. Um, even, right. even somebody as you know, lucky as me to have as much as I have, there are things I look at Josh's line like, dang, you know, and I feel less of a collector looking at other people's, <laughs> but don't do that because your collection is unique to you. And it says something about you. Well, that's our tip. That's our tip. We always come back to a collector tip yeah. is it's okay to enjoy somebody else, somebody else's collection for what it's worth. Yeah. And that to me, it, and I'll say it again and again and again, it makes me want to go to Mark's house and make him feel good about what he's done. That yeah. wall of vintage in acrylic <laughs> makes my heart hurt, but it also makes me very happy. And your wallet. And my wallet. But my, my wallet is like, hey, let's go to Mark's house instead. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's fly to the UK. Well, it's still less, still cheaper to do that than buy them all. We're going to go to Matt. Um, is it Mark or Matt? It's Matt. I'm sorry. Mark, Matt. Mark was uh, last week. Yeah. No, John was last week. Mark was the week before that. Okay. But he's a UK Matt. guy too. Yeah. Matt. I think we might've said Mark a couple we times. We said Mark about it's 17 Matt. times. Shoot. Sorry, Matt. Sorry, Matt. Mark. Matt, we just corrected ourselves up until now. You've been, you've been <laughs> being like bloody hell, <laughs> but it's Matt. Yeah. I think we got, called, what's his handle? We got called tossers maybe a few times too. Tossers? I don't even know. Yeah. I think that's a bad word in Britain. Sure. Matt, is that a bad word, Matt? Yeah. I don't know. It's fine. I know that Fanny is. <laughs> can we, what? can we, since this is just one of these pods where you and I are just talking about anything, okay. and I know you're trying to keep us on schedule, but I'm screwing it up. Can we talk about the fact that Bob and Doug went into space a week ago or a little over a week? We can. And, and we didn't even mention it with all our Canadian followers and friends. Yeah. That, Sorry. That Bob and Doug took off. To outer space. You hosers. Take off. <laughs> that joke is old now, but when I heard it, I was like, ah, I wish I was on the pod right now. But I it was know. like, take off, you hosers. And then Bob and Doug, who, by the way, are in the most sophisticated spacesuits I had ever seen. They right. literally look like they were made for a movie. And they're finally wearing them instead of big baggy Armageddon, eat your heart out. Yeah, that was that's how it's done. Bob and Doug McKenzie. That's not their last names, but it should be. Should be. <laughs> Maybe that was the name of the shuttle. And they kept thumbs up in. Hey, hey, take off, hey, hey. So I guess uh, congratulations, Canada, and sorry, sorry for not bringing it. Congratulations, up. sorry, because one of the one of the best experiences in recent American history, especially in the last two weeks, was a was an ode to the Canadian heroes, Bob and Doug McKenzie. Thank you. Here's to you. All right. What's next? Oh, Josh, what is next? You know, I don't know if... You're going to hit a drop? I am. I don't know if we put this under Easter egg or Star Wars news. It was an article that I just read today. Why don't you hit one and then hit the other one right behind it? <laughs> Do it. Okay. Star Wars. Easter egg. Star Wars Easter. That was perfect. That was both... Mixed. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good mix there, DJ Magic Andy. All right, Josh, while I set this up, I need you to go to inverse.com mm. and look up a particular article about Ray's grandmother. Mm. How am I going to find that? Inverse. All right, well, go on. Tell me more about it. So I read this article today, and it alluded to... To the fact that maybe the um, the co-parentage to Palpatine's kid, his son, 
might be a known character in the Star Wars universe, the 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 female side of the uh, clone. You know, because okay. there has to be, you know, there has to be a, a a male part and a female part, even if you're in vitro, right? You need an egg. Even in a galaxy far, far away. Even in a galaxy far, far away, you need, you know, it takes two to clone, <laughs> <laughs> so to speak. And that person may be known. Okay. And I was intrigued. And I don't, I, I, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't know if... Inverse.com is a clickbait site. And I don't they, either. I think you asked a question if too. If they recklessly speculate without much follow through or thought behind it. But it got me. If it is, it got me. It reeled me in and hooked me. And it actually made a somewhat compelling case. Okay. So I haven't heard this yet. All right. So um, we've got the article pulled up. If you scroll down, This, so this hottie, yes, you'll have to read the name because I don't, I can't, I can't read it from here. But Sly Moore, um, make sure that's not the the guy with the horns. Sly there. Moore is a character seen in fleeting glimpses during Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. She's usually shown at Palpatine's side, yes, with her attention grabbing Umberon cloak and bald head. Right, she is a Sly Moore. That's like a rap name. Yeah. What's up? On the sly. That's what I thought of. Is <laughs> this is, click on this? This is going down on the sly here. Um, but she looks go like ahead. a Palpatine gal. Yes, but a Galpatine. A Galpatine. <laughs> <laughs> She's a Galpatine. Oh, that's oh, great. He's writing it down. Andy's writing it yeah. down. That's going out in the Twitterverse. Expect to see that all Ooh. next week. Hashtag Galpatine. Galpatine. Um, but go ahead, keep keep reading that because uh, Sly is one of the few people who knows Sheev's true identity as Darth Sidious, and her role is apparently to control who gets access to the Chancellor. Okay, she's a handler. She's a handler. We okay. get that mm -hmm. more than one way, I guess. Her role sounds less like a personal assistant and more like a Lady Macbeth, mm. assisting Palpatine in his grand plans. Uh, another encyclopedia entry alludes to Umberon's power to influence people and possibly control minds. So Sly might have some, some mind control, Keep reading. Uh, making Sly an excellent ally for Palpatine in his role as chancellor, manipulating those around him to bend to his will. She's also force sensitive. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yes. Which could assist Palpatine on his mission to create a clone of himself with force sensitivity. Plus someone as manipulative as Palpatine is definitely his type. 100%. Now, this, leave leave the picture on her for a second. Yeah, let me can. go back to old Sly here. But if you, if you take into account all that we know about Senator slash Emperor slash Darth Palpatine, right. Sidious, even going into extended universes, he never had, he never stuck with the 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 Sith rule of two, he had, and we've said this many times. He had contingency plan upon contingency plan upon contingency plan. Going back into Legends canon, you know, he had Darth Vader, right? But, but he also had Mara Jade. He also had Thrawn. He also, I mean, he and, and sometimes they were force sensitive, and sometimes they weren't. But he always had multiple strings he was pulling on just in case and you know so he could he could be you know the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing kind of stuff okay and she fits this mold to a t i thought i was gonna get a oh man i thought i was gonna get a big image of her but i didn't sorry trying <laughs> anyway it's very small it's very small <laughs> that was awesome that was a pathetic image of galpatine of galpatine um <laughs> <laughs> but but she fits this mold perfectly, and and if you if you just think about who he was and what kind of dude he was, always having plans on his plans and backup plans, then this makes a lot of sense. Yes, she had um, a practical role to play for him, right? Ha and because she was force sensitive, maybe she was maybe she was fairly strong, you know, just because it doesn't say if she was a strong force or if she just kind of had some abilities that were under underdeveloped or whatever, but, 
But it would make sense that um, if they were to clone create a child, right, that too sensitive for sensitive users would create something pretty powerful. However, Palpatine later learns that it skips a generation. There she is, a little bigger. Okay. And by the way, it's the one on the right. Right. It's the it's not the it's not. horned blue character. It's the bald white. Yeah, no, yeah. They're Whitish. Thought you were powdery. Look at her though. Look yeah. At her. I can she, see she's really got she's got some dreamy eyes for him right now. Yeah, she's looking at him and thinking, you know, the the lightning didn't do him any favors, but <laughs> I I still i I'm still behind what he's so he's uh <laughs> You know, I'm trying still to picking up what he's throwing laying. down. Yeah, exactly. Galpatine. So, the Galpatine. The Galpatine. Yeah. yeah. They should. I wonder if there is a figure, if there was ever a figure made of her. Well, that's where I was going to go with this. As a collecting pod, it would be like, where's our Galpatine pod? Where is Ray's grandma? I think we found her. I think inverse.com. Whether they're a clickbait site or clickbait, <laughs> clickbait site or not, I think they actually make a compelling argument here. No reason, no reason not to want this to be real, right? Like, I, she. Here's the deal: when, it's already my we, head cannon. We, I know, right? When we found out that Ray was a descendant of Palpatine, what was your first thought? Who, who got it on with Palpatine? Who, who with? Who with? And my imagination couldn't come up with a. A person. No. Galpatine here, though. Oh, Sly. <laughs> Galpatine she on the Sly. She looks like the person. I just she didn't could know be. she yeah, could Yeah, been. she yeah. She could be. And but especially I mean, how she's just mad dogging him, right? She likes him. She looks here. She looks like uh, the old uh, Last 17 figure, uh, <laughs> the Imperial Dignitary, <laughs> just without the hat, you know, just without the Pope hat. Oh, I wish I could zoom in. Hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh, all I can do is this for you. Oh, no, you can't see it. Yeah. Dang. Oh, she's scary, by the way. She, yeah. And this is Attack of the Clones and also Revenge of the Sith. But she's terrifying. Galpatine. Sly. Whew. Okay. All right. So, I like that theory. Yeah. Here's the deal. It's got to come from somewhere, right? Might as well come from Galpatine. Yeah. And and we do know that it, that it was a clone, that uh, it it may not have, it may have occurred unnaturally. Mm. So, you know, I'm not saying they got it on, but. Well, hold on. I wouldn't, let me I wouldn't that blame back. him. Look at her. I wouldn't blame Look him. Look at her face. She's all right. She's all right she's, with whatever. She's, uh, she's all right. She's giving him the eye. Yeah, she's fine. Okay. Galpatine's fine. Okay. Maybe she is. Maybe. Need, we, she's like, we don't need cloning. I don't know why she's German. <laughs> All I was doing was Frau Bar 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 from from Austin Powers. <laughs> we don't need the cloning. <laughs> I, I, I've, that's never, a, that's I've never done that to you. Automatically number one in 2020 Star Wars impersonations. Uh, is Galpatine? Is Galpatine? <laughs> We don't need the cloning chambers. We, we don't need embryonic <laughs> tubes. No, no. We are fine. <laughs> All right. It'll turn Russian real quick. Don't you let me keep doing German. <laughs> oh, that was good. All right. All right. All right. We, Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. We're going to... We're going to... Oh, okay. There it is. There it is. We're, Thank you, TK1151. Yeah. Thanks Ugh. for keeping Oof. getting us back on track there. Jesus. All right. We've got um we've got just one more thing to uh cover here. I threw out um if you had any questions for us to answer on the old Twitter yeah. sphere, then hit me. Uh, you hit me with one and I told you to shut up because I wanted them live. <laughs> so we're gonna get them live here. <laughs> All right. Our buddy Matt for me did asks. <laughs> Josh. Why isn't he a third panel up here? I just don't understand. I know. All right. He's he's on the payroll. We haven't said his name in a while. Uh, yeah, we haven't. But we don't need to. It's kind of like Matt. Who was the first president of the United States? <laughs> yeah, Obviously, like Abraham Adams. Lincoln. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, George Washington. Okay. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> Matt from Enid asks, um, if you had a DeLorean, 
great, great premise. All right. Great premise. All right. He's you got bringing a DeLorean. Spielberg just to just kind of thumb down on Lucas a little bit. And you could choose one Star Wars related trip. Would you go back in time to see what the first Star Wars was like or go ahead in time to see what Star Wars will be like in the future? And I'm going to be, make this more specific. Would you go back to 1977 and experience the sci-fi of Star Wars, not just Star Wars, but everything that blew everybody's mind about Star Wars. Would you go back to 77 to experience it? Or would you go 43 years in the future and see what apologies? What is what has taken place? What would you do, Josh? A couple concerns. First. Okay. So one, the question I would ask is if I go back to 77, are you three? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and I meet my baby self. No. Um, do I get to kind of lose some of what I know already? Uh, which you, there's no, no you, don't. Okay. you as you go back to 77. So for one, I'm going to take a bag of cash and I'm going to invest in a little company called <laughs> Lucas arts or Lucas films or whatever. ILM just George or Lucas, or yeah. ILM, just it, whatever. Maybe Apple doesn't matter. Well, probably Apple, <laughs> probably Apple. And then I'll put a little, bank being like when you're something called amazon drop the rest of this there anyway but uh, as far as the the movie experience i it's tough i'd have to say no i don't want to go back you'd go future i'd go future because if you think no i'm not but the stuff that they do now is cool we'll just wait 40 years from now yeah but the, the volume is gonna look like but jump. This, and here's my like i'm just gonna like like just totally counter myself every step. I, I, I think that that was revolutionary. It was like seeing the first thing ever, but it won't be to me. That's why I asked the question, can I have a memory wipe? Can I do a men in black memory wipe DeLorean men in black crossover? No memory. Then yes, absolutely go back to 77 and be in awe of something you'd never in its form at the time really seen before and then stand in line, all the stuff. However, I have seen all that. I've watched the footage. Hmm. Part of our part of our our award show was to watch the footage for for the Oscars and all that stuff. But I, I would want to go forward in time. My only issue with that is is it going to be better forty years from now? I or is Star Wars going to exist? At least if I go back in time, I know that I'm going to a Star Wars event. Would if you? I go forward in time. I could be going to a crater in the moon. True. 40, <laughs> 43 years. A lot can happen. <laughs> all right. I'll, uh, your answer is good for that one. I'm going to move right. on to the next all one. Right. I'm going to answer, Sorry. I'm going to answer the next one. And this one, um, uh, this is at all praise. Definitely go back. I'm just going to lock it in. Definitely go back. I want to go back. Yeah, I'm go going back. back. I'm going back. I'm growing my hair out. <laughs> I'm just Can't kidding. go back. I know. I'm going back and I'm just going around being like, I'm going to do stuff like, you know, is that an Eddie Money song? I, gotta I, be, singing? I have no idea. Oh. That's why I just glazed over it. Okay. But I'm going to be like, you know what? I think Vader's is dead. And just be the pariah yeah. of social pen palling. Right, right. Write <laughs> a letter to the editor. Yeah, like. You know what? LA Times. Pretty sure. Watch this. Pretty sure he's she's his sister. Called it. Called it. No I way. Mean, they kissed. Hot take. Hot take. Maybe you create social media. Yeah. So you can be the hot taker. The emperor is not an old lady. Mm. She's Ian McDermott. Yeah. You should find her. And Jabba is not a guy. He's not a dude with he's a, a big worm. He's not a dude from friggin' Game of Thrones. No. Nope. He's, he's a big worm. He's a big giant worm. A, Step on steps on his tail. All right, move on. Anyway, all praise asks how many personnel were on the Millennium Falcon during the Battle of Endor. Now this one, go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna field this one, Josh. Okay. We, I, this was the one that we briefly chatted about. If before. you know the answer, man, I I don't not not 100, percent but you see Lando wearing Han's clothes. Weirdly <laughs> enough. That's in Empire. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. in Empire. That's right. He's got leave his, him alone. He's got right? his he's own like, gear. I don't know what to wear. Hey, no capes in here anymore. Be right? careful. It'll turn into Watto real quick. Hey. Um, we see Lando. Yep. We see Nien Num. Yum Num. 
Yum, yum. And you do see a third person in the cockpit and you only see him briefly, but I think they're kind of dressed up like a, like an indoor trooper. Okay. But it's some, even though they didn't go to Endor, they were in the space part of the battle of Endor, not on the Endor part of the battle of Endor. And so I know for a fact, there are three. Okay. okay. You can see three for sure on the millennium Falcon. Now you would be probably right to conclude that there would be two more in, in the gunner seats, you know, one of the top and the bottom gunner seats, right? It, it would make sense if you're going to a space battle, you would want people manning the guns, but now star Wars is notorious for in the Falcon, just being able to walk away from the piloting station and do whatever you need to in the rest of the ship. Right. But so the Falcon, you know, here's okay. L seven or whatever is still here's, flying. Here's what we, here's what we don't know though. I can't definitively say that I remember guns being fired from the top or bottom turrets. When they get into the center of DS2, AKA the deuce, <laughs> when they get to the center and, and they, and they shoot, then the millennium Falcon shoots. It's from the front of the ship. It's not from the turrets. Okay. Okay. And I feel like that's something that either Nian Nyum or Lando act- right. actually could do from the pilot and the co-pilot seat. All right. So because you only definitively say three or C3, I'm going to say three, but I don't know the actual answer. To Are that. you ready for at least an answer that makes your answer wrong. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Here it comes. I've never seen this. I've never thought about it. Never cared. This is a great question. Here it is. What do you see there? I see Lando. I see Nyanyam. Nyanyam. I see a dude right over Nyanyam's shoulder. And what you also see is another dude over his left shoulder. Oh, okay. I, let me, I can't let me, see it too well. Let me help so you. So there's four people? There you go. Okay. See him? Right there. Yep. And so there's four. They're in indoor camouflage, They too. are. It's These funny. are extras, yeah. all right? <laughs> and they're pushing buttons they know nothing about. They are, uh, like, if you go on the Smuggler's Run... Yeah, 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 yeah. In they're, at Disneyland, they're the uh, yeah, they're where you put your eight year old and your four year old. You're yeah, like, get in those seats. You're, yeah, the you're bomber. back there. Yeah, yeah you're, you're the. Doing great. I don't know what you they know, call C-3PO. that. The engineers. C-3PO. They're the engineers. C three PO sat in that seat. He did. Yeah, he got shut down there. Yeah. Anyway, so did Leia. So there's four. There's four people. Four that we know of. Well, who knows who's under the the floorboards? Yeah, or maybe in the smugglers' smuggling. hatch. Yeah, or who knows? Playing some. Yeah, playing some Jeric. chess. Yeah, Jeric, did Jeric. whatever Star Wars chess we call it? <laughs> Holo chess, Holo chess. Um, so four. That's a so great four. question. Okay. And question. obviously, obviously, a little like kind of jab because he's like the hollow idiots don't know. Well, I did ask. I said, "Did you know? Do you know the answers to this? Are you testing us?" And, and he said, uh, "No, that's why I'm asking." So you can figure it out. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Um, We'd like to point you to um, our favorite website, www.google. <laughs> <laughs> Wikipedia. Uh, all, all praise had a second question. I'll let right. you answer this. And, right. we, and we just, this is the one I haven't heard. We, yeah. We might've right. just glanced on a little bit talking about Palpatine, but um, he, all, his second question uh, is the emperor had no apprentice for a while. Um, even through episode seven through nine. So if the rule of two was not upheld, shouldn't the Sith have been no more before episode seven? So there, he's saying that, you know, once Vader tosses him down the shaft, there's no emperor for a while. Smoke? There's no emperor for a while. He was cloned later, but, but shouldn't the Sith have died? What about Snoke though? If and if you remember from Rise of Skywalker, you go by the Bacta tank looking thing, which has a bunch of Snoke parts in it, right? Right. So was Snoke his clone apprentice? Which we know nothing about Snoke. Very, very little. To Mini Chagrin. Mini 
many, many voices <laughs> cried out Silence. about nothing about Snoke. We don't know about Snoke. So, I mean, you could say that Snoke was his pseudo clone apprentice based on his new clone lifestyle. Yeah. Poppy's, Poppy's clone lifestyle. That's how you upgrade your reality TV show as you go to the next stage, which is Poppy's clone home. You level up. Yep. Um, well, I got, I got to say, <laughs> what? welcome to my little clone pad. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. This, I mean, that's where we clone. That's where we clone myself. Oh, those are bad palpies, but uh, Palp- Palpy's clone home <laughs> and his palpa gal. Uh, he has Galpatine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A palpa gal, Galpatine. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Depends on which side of the fence you're on. Alpha gal. <laughs> anyway, so I, I think. Well, I would also new throw poll this by out. the way, I, I, Alpatine or Palpa Gal. I would either. <laughs> I, well, I would also posit that you know Sith holocrons are still out there for people to you know learn from, and and uh, apparently there was a whole planet of acolytes that were just waiting around for the essence of Palpatine to return in some form. You know, and it was, it's very kind of Harry Pottery and and how. Um, <clears throat> on uh, he who shall not be named, yeah, hung around, you know. Well, and and that's I think obviously to connect the thread, which somebody decided needed to happen, you know, with the with the whole Palpatine even coming back. There's a lot of new questions out there. Mm-hmm. There's a there's a lot of new uh, canon that's going to be probably fleshed out. In in maybe some books or some comics, I hope mm-hmm. that that's some good space right there. I want to know more about Snoke. I, even though his character, by some, could be considered absolutely a throwaway character, maybe just progressing Kylo as far as an obstacle to his you know supreme leader step or whatever. But I I want to know about Snoke. How that scar happened? Is are they cloning the scar in, or does he just come out? Fresh headed, Palpy gives him the old Palpy whack. He's like, "Now you may go on to your job," and he puts a big scar on his head. Because I mean, you did, 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 you know, by by definition, cloning means we can get rid of any uh, imperfections, which, which right, would, you should be able which to. Which would be a big cleave in your skull, right? A, a cloven, yeah, skull is something you'd think that you would uh, he's like, genetically. He's like, yeah, could you, could remove. you maybe? It's not so much here or here, but kind of right, right here, right. Yeah, could you just maybe, you know, maybe a little spackle, a little more, a little, 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 little bone, a little extra bone, a little putty. And yeah. a- so I don't, I, that's a great question, but you could also say that maybe Palpatine as a clone didn't have the same, or, or, or are we suggesting that Palpatine has always been a reincarnation of something else? Because what I was about to say was Palpatine as a clone maybe doesn't have the same need as a Sith, direct line Sith does, because he's a clone, so now he can manipulate without any rule of two, or I don't know. That's all bullshit, by the way, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, f- before there was a rule of two, there wasn't. <laughs> I, you know, well, how and there, about were his, lo- there were a lot How of about Sith. His, his whole, uh, you know, uh, cathedral full of, of dark of Sith, acolytes, Sith yeah. shadows or whatever the hell they were. You know, yeah. I mean, I mean, he definitely had a following. So maybe he went more rock Palpatine where he's like, I'm filling stadiums. Like Kevin, not, like Kevin Hart, not dojos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he, he dropped the sensei. Yeah. He, he went full yeah. arena yeah. style. He went, he went Palp Jovi on this and, and it's on. <laughs> we have a lot of we have a lot of catchphrases in this episode of the Holo Chronicles. By had, the way, you can find us at Holo Chronicles on Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Not YouTube. We're on Beyond the Blast Doors. On the Beyond the at the Beyond. The, but if you look, you'll you'll find us. We're there. This is probably a good time to mention that we also have a Patreon. If you go to patreoncom slash If you the want to doors. support more fantastic catchphrases like <laughs> Galpatine or Palpagal. Or funk hole, or funk hole. That one, that's old school. That one's already trending. Yeah, you look up funk hole, and uh, 
Is Good it, luck. This is it. This is it right just here. Throw your money at us at that point. <laughs> just but, sh- <laughs> shower. Hunnits. 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 Speaking of which, uh, yeah, anyway. I'm so, hot. Go ahead. What yeah. are you going to say, Mr. Off Track? Um, I apologize. Uh, no, it, 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 that's all. <sighs> just uh, just follow us on Patreon. But what we were talking about, anyway, uh, yeah, Palpatine's got a, a cathedral full of uh, acolytes. He may not have the desire to have an apprentice. As a matter of fact, there is no rule that you have to have an apprentice every minute of the day, right? No, and he had times his, where he had a few. His apprentice was who? Ray. He was attracting his apprentice. As a matter of fact, as as the Chancellor Palpatine, he was grooming Anakin. No apprentice. Yeah, we had Maul for a while, but Maul got dropped. Maul was out for a good year or two before Dooku. Before well, Dooku, but Dooku didn't. Dooku didn't. Dooku had his own apprentice as well, so that I doesn't know. make sense. Well, it does because Sith are selfish. 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 Selfish Sith. Anyway, so so yeah, so I think there can be a, some lag between between apprentices if you're grooming, because you could always call into the Sith headquarters and be like, "Look, I got one on lock. You, She's you go coming." To Sith ICQ. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. I got this Kylo kid. If he turns out to be a I, whiny baby, I got this. In my line. granddaughter's going to show. Yeah, but uh, I, the to the extent of what all praise was asking. It's like, well, once Palpatine went away, shouldn't have the Sith gone away too. But, but who's to say the Sith are dead. They weren't all in the amphitheater for right. Palpy's big, right. big light show for his right. big pyrotechnic for, for his, for his closing. arena rock. Yeah. For his freaking white lion. Shout through the heart. Yeah. Just, just dropping, dropping. I mean, biggest ending ever. Except for the encore. Bringing down the house. Not good. Bringing down the house. Palpatine. <laughs> rocks. <laughs> I have, I, I'm trying to come up with a rock I, I connected know. Palpatine, but I can't. <laughs> uh, Rage against the patine. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all I got. All right. <laughs> the patine. That sounds uh, All right. We should wrap this up. Probably. We have gone off track. We don't care. A few times. Man, we're just here for you. Uh, we we need more questions uh, that we can answer. But to to bring it back to where where our wheelhouse is, mm-hmm. will there be a Galpatine figure? Well, to be realistic, will will there be a clone Palpatine figure? That's what I thought. I was like, you know, I would be like with no feet. I would be fascinated by that. Well, remember the art that they showed of yeah. when they, that that the the you know, almost matrix matrix esque, the, all the, you know, cables attached to him and he's floating that would go well on one of my shelves. Yeah. If he's just out there, be freaking cool. And he's, you know, Josh, make that happen. Well, that's what I'm saying. Send an email. See that toy. Do we want to see that? Send an email. We want it. Hasbro pulse. You've heard it here first. This could be part of the hashtag back, back TVC. Yeah. This could be the next, this could put them on, you know, this could really bring them to the forefront. If you do this as a three and three quarter inch figure with an apparatus, Dude, I'm telling you, I'd what, buy that what, in a minute. Oh, dude, what if, it'd probably have to be like four grand, but what if they did like a sideshow of that? It wouldn't be four grand, it'd be 500 bucks. Not if it. Dude, that's how big the child's going to be. 395. Yeah, but the child can stand on his two feet. He put lead. And you can hold any th- piece of porcelain up. You're fine. I'm telling you. All right. All right. Listen, right, Sideshow, right, right. yes. Hasbro, you heard Let's it here go. first. Come on. Sorry. Thank you. Do Order. it. Order. Do it. All right. Anything else, Andy? No. Just uh, take care. Take care out there. Take yeah, care, take out, care there. out there. We love you guys. Be uh, kind to everybody. We're, yeah. We... Uh, you know, we take it pretty light and pretty easy here. This is a this is an outlet of release for for us, and the world is pretty heavy right now, and and there's a lot of people hurting, and so be kind to everybody, please. That would be awesome. Yeah, be awesome. Yeah, take take what you get here, share it. Yeah, life's life's okay, but life sucks too. Go say hi to your neighbor. Go yeah. get to know your neighbor. We love you guys, all of you. Mm-hmm. All of you.
and may the force be with you wherever 